Lily here from Stampin' Eat and welcome back to another craft making session with me. In today's video I am going to do or attempt to do this beautiful one sheet wonder card featuring these gorgeous new colors two of which are brand new and one is an in color from last year. So we've got blueberry bushel lemon lime twist i believe that's what i need to be using and tahitian tide i hope it's not lemon lolly but i do believe it's lemon lolly twist lemon lime twist but anyway a greeny a greeny yellow is what we're after and i am going to be using two stamp sets for this and the one is artistically inked and the other one is the botanical leaves and from the botanical leaves i'm just using this big um, leaf but you can use any um, step set you have that has got um, a beautiful flower feature some leaves and some speckles now these one sheet wonder cards I've been following um, Ruth at Artful Stamping and I just want to give credit for the inspiration behind my card she hasn't done a design necessarily exactly the same as this, but the inspiration and the technique has certainly come from her. So let's get started. And at the end, I'll show you the other four pieces that I cut out um, and you can see how different they are. So I'm going to set this one to the side and I am going to bring in my protective sheet because we're going to be using a piece of basic white cardstock which I have just seen I haven't put on my desk so let me go and grab that okay so you're going to need a basic white cardstock piece of paper and we're going to start off by stamping these flowers in random places and they were stamped in blueberry bushel this is the first time that I am actually using this color so that is super exciting now I do want to just teach you a little technique if you don't know. This is a distinctive stamp and you can tell that by looking at the stamp and seeing that there are ridges to it and it creates interest. When you work with a distinctive stamp, let me just demonstrate to you. So I'm just going to bring all the ink back and you do want to use a bone folder for that. So let me just stamp on there on my sheet all right have a look at how that's stamped and i'm just going to clean this off and now i'm shifting the ink away from the center and hopefully you can see on the camera there's a paler blue sticking out on the dark it is quite a dark color but I'm inking on that blue. I'm stamping on that blue. And if I come next to it, can you see the difference? It really makes a difference if you're working with distinctive stamps to push the ink away from the center or wherever it is that you are going to be picking up the ink. So doing that, I'm now inking that and I'm going to just come in and make three groups of these beautiful flowers from the artistically inked stamp set okay and I might just come in here And I might just fill in this corner over here. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six. Perhaps I'll just come in and, like I say, they're going to look completely different. So just ink that off because otherwise you're going to just tap it on your grid paper or whatever it is that you're protecting it. And give it a good clean and this will be the last time that we'll be using this particular stamp 
so I'm just going to put it right back where it belongs okay I'm going to close the blueberry bushel for now we will come back to it though now I'm going to be bringing in these leaves and I'm going to do that with the stem set and I'm using my lemon lime twist for that and I'm doing exactly the same thing I'm shifting oh, you should be able to see that better now on this color because it's lighter pushing the ink away from the center and I'm going to ink just gonna bring in these two-step stamp oops that's not helpful not sure what happened there see that it doesn't do that again that's better well we'll just have to go and fix that boo boo bring that in there okay and I might just come put it there. All right. I'm going to leave the um, green open because we're going to come in with the leaves. I just want to clean that stamp. Let's just clean that off. And I'm now going to use the green and I'm going to use the leaf from the artistically inked. And because it's a, um, a distinctive, I'm keeping the um, ink pad separated like I've shown you. So I'm inking that. Um, cheap bubble there. I'm just going to come that in there. So what Ruth um, tells us when she does her videos is... You're always building up your softer colors in the background first. So in this case, I'm going to be using the lemon lime twist. And then you start coming in with stronger colors. But because I've set myself um, this as a challenge to use these three colors, I am a little restricted in what I can use in here. We just go around and we'll just do one up there and bring in one over here and I might just come in mm, there is a single leaf maybe I'll do I'm just gonna quickly swap it out for the single leaf and bring that single leaf in there We good, think we good. All right, so just eyeball it, just see what works for obviously your design and my design are going to look totally different. All right, now we need to bring in a little bit. I just want to clean these guys off quickly. We're going to bring in some of the um, Tahitian Tide. Um, just want to close this so to heat and tide and we're going to do that with the little flowers so let me just swap my stamps and again I'm just pulling the ink away from the middle helps to just have a um, wet wipe hanging around but not where it will damage your paper as I am prone to do and we're just going over and I might just go over those um, boo-boos with that one boo-boo okay I can 
can see we're layering these colors I'm keeping my ink pad just I just keep dabbing it in the um, center where I've pulled the ink away so that I don't have to keep worrying smudged a bit there so I'll bring a flower in there let me just stand back and have a look at that I might just bring one there and return it yeah I think that's good I've got a bit of white space here but that's okay I'm, I'm actually really pleased with that um, so we'll close that and then I'm going to just bring in that blueberry bushel again one more time and I'm going to use this little guy he's quite interesting um, and so I'm just going to, I actually want to second generation stamp that. The first time I did it, it was quite strong. And I just want to keep it, oops, and this didn't. Just here and there, not everywhere. And I'm sort of looking where there are odd um, spaces. I won't be using too much of this stamp. I think that's enough to be honest okay and now we're gonna go back to Tahitian Tide and I'm gonna bring in some speckles oh and the speckles my apologies I think the speckles I used the speckles from the quiet meadow I forgot about that so there you go speckles quiet meadow and we'll just get those on to right and they are going to go oh, that was close can you imagine if I had now gone and ruined my whole sheet after all my hard work I think that's enough yeah I'm happy with that I think I'm gonna stop right there now you're going to cut this into your pieces of paper so have a look at that I love that I think that is absolutely gorgeous in fact I actually like it more than that one <laughs> so cut it into your pieces that you want and then once you've got your pieces, actually I might just bring over my paper trimmer and do that with you. And then we can uh, mount it on our, um, on our mat. So I'll just go and grab my paper trimmer. So with your paper, we're going to cut it at four inches. And you'll be able to use those strips for something else and five and three-eighths okay that can also make a nice card for something else and what is so economical about this technique is that you'll get four card fronts from it okay so now we've got four fronts and it's a question now of just figuring out which one we want to put on front so you've got your card base at eight and a quarter by five and a half scored at four and one eighth i've got my berry, um, blueberry bushel mat one sixteenth smaller than that because I really just wanted a teeny tiny narrow blue popping out. So let's have a look. We've got four different looks here. Let's see which one. I actually want to make 
do I want to make no I'll stick with landscape so I've got that look that's quite pretty so that'll be number one choice we've got this one in the center mm, I might leave that one for a second choice oh uh, no not not a choice right now that one's quite nice I quite like that one and then we've got this one as well yeah I think I'm gonna go with my first one you know you usually land up doing that you usually land up actually choosing your first one so before I glue this onto the mat I do want to just stick a little bit of let me just check the orientation yeah I want to stick a little bit of tear and tape onto my the back because I'm going to put some twine there and I'm looking for my take your pick tool so what I'm going to show you now is just an economical way of working with twine and ribbon rather than wrapping it all around so you're just going to grab it on the back bring it through loop we're going to go around three times grab it on the back a second time and one last time and then i just want to cut that with my paper scissors uh ribbon scissors okay so we've got our twine and now i can put my glue on it I'm just going to use the spreader at the back just to mix it up and get it on. And that's going to go on to that very narrow mat. Okay. Going to make a little bow. Where is my last piece? There we go. A bow I'm just gonna not put it through once put it through a second time this is called a surgeon's knot and it just means it sits really well on your surface pull that through and pull it through and by the way the way I had the twine and the ribbon with the loose piece on my left is by far the more economical way of cutting your ribbon and twine so that you don't wasting or cutting unnecessary amounts I'm now going to just glue this on to the back and position that on my card base in place and now the last thing to do is just to stamp my happy birthday and the happy birthday I am going to do in Tahitian Tide. Just to bring in those colors. Get it nice and straight. Just going to put that down here. Awesome. And just going to cut that now with my paper snips and then apply that with dimensionals. So just going straight. You could, of course, use your paper trimmer if you are nervous about cutting it straight. Mine was a bit wonky. But you know what? You can't see it. So that's all good. So just a bit of dimensionals. I just want to check that I'm happy with that length. Mm, maybe a little bit off there. Cool. and dimensionals let me just grab those so three at the back of the big ones lift that up and that goes over the twine like that now, of course, you could add some bling if you wanted to. I'm just going to keep mine pretty simple. Um, 
on my sample I stamped inside I'm just going to keep it simple for this one but you can go for gold on the back so I'm just going to pop that on a mat this um, this might be a nice way to also add some interest from the same stamp set to put a bit of background with that which I actually originally started what have I done with it I put it down here to show you um, gosh I can't find it now let me just see if I find it somewhere um, no I put it down here okay it's not here but I was I was actually going to show you the very first one I did because I used that background and then I didn't think it worked that well but of course now it's gone AWOL now that I want to show you anyhow mat inside and we are done so that is how you can create a one sheet wonder card and the colors I used for that was Tahitian Tide blueberry bushel and lemon lime twist the sets I used was artistically inked botanical layers and the quiet meadow so I hope you had fun you can recreate a card like this with any stamp set that you have but if you liked what I did now and you live in New Zealand you are more than welcome to shop with me by clicking on the link below in the description box so thank you so much for crafting with me today and remember until we meet again to stamp eat sleep repeat bye